I didn't expect you back so soon. Where is Ember? How did he fear? I thought I'd find him with you. He must have fled. I followed him to Eastwatch, where I found him being set upon by a wild Avis. He was just standing there. Didn't even draw his sword. I had to step in and take care of things. But by the time I had, he was nowhere to be seen. I assumed he'd set off in your direction, but... Apparently not. Oh. I'm sorry, Sid. I knew the boy had a nervous streak, but he seemed like... The right man for the job? No. I believe this is the logbook you tasked me with retrieving. Eh? How did you... Don't you tell me you breached the tower while Sid was busy saving your skin. What? Wasn't that what you asked me to do? To bring the thing back without getting caught? He has you then, is there? Uh... And he did it all on his own. But Sid! He did what he thought was best. And now I have to decide whether I agree. Of course. We'll await your evaluation back at the hideaway. Don't you leave my sight. Yes, Sergeant. Ah. So he kind of tricked us. He made us step in for him. This won't be an easy decision. I mean, if I had to... Honestly, if I had to choose, I would say no. Because this was supposed to be a test for him, and using me to, like, get, you know, what he needed, I guess it's a good distraction tactic, and yeah, I take care of it, and yada yada. But the whole point is, like, you're not gonna be able to do use me for a battle. I'm literally, like, the most uber-powered person in the game. So, like, using me is one thing. If he were to use the guard... This isn't at all foreboding. Ah, this isn't at all foreboding. Guess what the obelisk looks like. The place on top of, uh, the place on top of fucking the spire where he summons the dark skies, right? I just noticed that, actually. But yeah, like, if he were to use, like, the guy, the Curse Breaker, right, who charged him to do this, like, as his task, then yeah, I'd be like, okay, you know, he did use what he needed to do. But using Clive, I feel like it's just a little bit too broken, in a sense. Like, I get it, he used me as a distraction, got what he needed to do, blah, 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 blah. But like, just because he used Clive in particular, I think it's busted and it deserves a no. If it was some, it literally almost anybody else, I think it would deserve a yeah. Okay, he used his wits, whatever. But Clive is literally the best of the best. But we'll see what Clive says, I guess, at the end of the side quest. What I am doing, milady, or trying to at least. The land is crawling with fiends. And someone has to keep watch. Even when our true enemy is hiding in the garrison? Fine. You're not the only able-bodied man in Northreach. Thank you so much for your help. Man, this lady is a Karen through and through. That's for damn sure. She cornered you too, then. Could hardly get a word in edgeways. Like father, like daughter, eh? She made an uninvited appearance at the Vale earlier, hoping to convince the Dane to join her in fermenting rebellion. <laughs> I bet that went well. Her ladyship seems to have a way with people. Anyway, what brings you here? Our mutual friend thought you might welcome some help. Oh, she did, did she? Right, as always. In fact, you're just the man. We've had some reports, you see. Sightings of, uh, you know what. A Akashic? Back. Seems that way. We haven't been able to confirm anything yet, but if you're willing, you could go and see what's what. Right. Where should I look? You know, Grieger's Weep? One of the sightings places them somewhere on its shores. I'm on my way. Thank you, Clive. I'll look into one of the other sightings. Let's rendezvous back here later. Okay, at least he's looking at another sighting. I was gonna say, wow, okay, you're just gonna send me by myself? You're not even gonna, like, accompany me when I'm trying to help you out, bro? But if he's gonna, if they're gonna at least say that he's going and doing another sight, well, that's acceptable. Yeah. I'll take that. I hate when they're like, yeah, you do this that I was going to do without you, but now that you're here, you can do it. Like, I I hate that type of stuff, Heike. That shit makes me mad. Alright, so it's right here. Oh, they just sprout up. Some of the revenants. I need to stop them before they get to the town. Punish him. It's over. It's over. Go ahead and just diamond us, you guys. Fuck it. Got him. Gonna be some more, I'm assuming. Yep. 
There we go. So far, so good. Oh, they're spread out everywhere. Look at this. And they've got healers, too. We gotta get rid of them. Well, there we got two of them. I think there might be one more, but I can't really see right now. Get him! Yeah! Oh, whoa, whoa, they're jumping me. Come on, don't have abilities up for a minute. Punish! Alright, we'll kill this one outright, just in case there's another wave. We'll save the cyclone for that. Punish! Oh, no, nope, that was it. Man's going off into the goddamn sunset like Team Rocket right now. There you go. Call that a test, Ultima. Clive, got that ass. It's me. Are you all right? I am. But it seems the reports were true. The thralls have returned. Definitely returned. Snatched the few that I found, though. Well, there's something, I suppose. But what were they doing south of town? They all came from the north last time. We might be able to fend off an attack from one side or the other. But from both, do you have eyes in the north? Yeah, it's kind of like they're just random, so, right? I should probably go and have a look, though, just to be sure. You head back to Northridge. I want you there just in case war breaks out while I'm away. What do you mean? Her ladyship's been busy working her magic on the townspeople. Oh, my God. Stirring up ill feeling towards her father. But she'll have a marching on the barracks if we're not careful. What? This is exactly what the Dane was afraid of. I'll do what I can to calm things down. Be careful out there, all right? Don't worry, I'm not like you. One sniff of those things, and I'm running back to town screaming blue murder. <laughs> uh oh, here we go. Townspeople versus guards, father versus daughter. Do you not see, father? The people of Northreach have given enough, and only a fool would ask for more. Listen to me, Sabine. Where would our people be without their country, hmm? The Empire is their sword and their shield. It is she that ensures they can live without fear. And now she teeters on the brink. Without their sword, how will the people fight? Without their shield, how will they protect their kin? Can the unarmed stand against the advancing hordes? No. But there is yet hope. A new shield, a new sword. A new Pokemon. A new <laughs> Empire. We the sword and shield remakes. Just as great Grieger wills it. Perhaps we could, father. But we don't want to. Not if it is built on the broken backs of the people. Hey, yo. Please, let us not quarrel in the street. You must see that no good will come of this. Our fight is not with each other, but with the threat that draws ever closer to our gates. A threat that your sword has yet to rid us of, your eminence. You will hold your tongue. Ooh. Oh! You may have filled my daughter's head with your heresy, but I will not be corrupted. Corrupted? Your daughter's opinions are her own. As you would know if you had ever deigned to listen to her. At least I hope they are your opinions, and not posturing born of a family feud. Northreach deserves better than that. Northreach yeah, she knows they're not. better than you, Carla. Oh. Yes, I know who you are. Oh, her name's the Carla. Of Twinside who bedded a brandit. Oh. <gasps> Everyone hates that. <laughs> Jealous, that she was in bed with a branded? That a woman might choose a bearer over a pious man of Grieger. Clive! I met a swarm <laughs> Clive was really just sitting here word. watching I like, damn. <laughs> no work on the fortifications has scarcely begun. We will retreat to Care Norvent and there make our stand. Did you hear me? That was an order! While this is but a heartfelt plea, 
Let us make our stand here and protect our homes. Protect those that we love. Absolutely not. <laughs> For Northreach. Fuck you. You heard the dame? What are we waiting for? Pikemen to the gates, archers to the roofs. Quickly, come on! God is ass. She is but a common whore, yes. And we'd follow her to the gates of hell. Got that ass. Both of them looking dumb. The men have their orders, and they look like following them. I got them spaced out at regular intervals. Whichever direction the thrall strike from, there'll be someone there to meet them. Thank you, Philippe. Rest assured, the people will play their part. The herbalist has donated her stock of medicines to me. That's good. Should any of your men be injured, take them to the Vale. We'll see to them there. <laughs> Bro, I'd stab okay, myself right. right then and there. <laughs> oh, my toes, my so feet, I can't others. walk anymore. <laughs> Unlike the enemy. Oh, my God. I can go some way to evening the odds. Oh no! My sword hand? slipped! <laughs> I doubt the thralls by the lake were the last of their number. Of course. I'll lead a party down that way so we don't get taken by surprise. What about you? I'll make my way up the road to Oriflam. I fought a few Oriflam. of these Oriflam. And while I can't promise to hold them all back, I should be able to thin the herd. Alright. But take care. Thank you. Both of you. You can thank us when it's over. Till then, madame. Madame? Oriflam? All right, so it looks like the last step of this is just pulling a couple of the monsters to the north, which shouldn't be too hard. After this, I think we're going to call it quits. We're going to go back to the hideaway. Well, we're going to look at the world map, see how many are left. Then we're going to go back to the hideaway, and then that's going to be where we resume our session next time, I think. Um, like I said, I'm fucking toasting up in this bitch. I need to take a shower. And, uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know when we're going to stream again. Hopefully tomorrow morning if if it's just as cool as it was this morning I'll just make I'll wake up a little bit earlier and we'll be able to do like two hours again and hopefully get rid of the rest of the side quest But if not, then I'm gonna wait till the AC's uh, all nice and you know ready for me to use So hopefully that's sooner rather than later But you know, it's kind of up in the air when that's actually gonna be but hopefully we're able to finish Final Fantasy by the end of this week. And like I said, guys, we are going to be having a webcam session for the finale. So stay tuned if you guys are interested in that as well. For now, we're killing a bunch of thralls and seeing if we can save Northreach. But everyone else is pretty much useless. I think I might... Oh, I thought we were able to hit two and one right there, but no. Barely off of hitting that second one. Nice. Is it over? Nope. Definitely gonna be some oh, more if you had to say that. It's only just oh, an Undertaker, encroaching Undertaker. Oh, and he's got healers. We gotta get rid of the healers first. I thought there were just other like people or whatever, but no, nope, it is healers. Whoa. I thought that was like a part of the Undertaker. I was like, what the hell? But it was a. Uh... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was horrible. Yeah, I should be able to just dump obliterate these guys. This should dagger him, really. Well, a little bit off, but not too much. There we go. And now we can hit him with the Wombowist of all Comboists. Room five. A big chunk of health. Really good damage here. Nice. Alright, not, not enough to kill him or nothing, but it did a lot. And now it's a limit break for the rest. Get his ass. And we're still up in the air.
spirit with it. Oh, that's the beam. He's toppleable, but we're in the middle of an animation, so he can't topple. Him. Oh, I was trying to dodge. I pressed X like five times instead. <laughs> oh no. And you're done. You're done, son. There we go. Final sword hit got him. Enemy slain. Not too bad, not too bad. That looks to be the last of them. I wonder how the others fared. Better hurry back to town. Come on, Toggle. I actually really like how the north of Northreach looks, like with all the, the the crops and stuff, the nice beach on the left side, ocean, uh, the, the capital when it had the crystal, it looks awesome. This is a cool looking place overall. The planes look really nice. Clive, it's good to see you. And you, the road to Oriflam is clear. How did you and your men fare? Well, we ended up fighting for our lives down by the lake. <laughs> Took a few nicks, but nothing the girls of the Vale can't put right. Glad to hear it. Well, it seems we've survived. For the time being, at least. I thank you both for answering the call. You were right. Of course. And I was wrong about everything. I had thought. That yeah, we know. The only way to unite the people was under the banner of empire. That without a strong hand to guide them, they would drift apart. To be borne hither and yon by the eddying currents of fate. But you brought them together, not by force, nor by the exercise of goddess-given authority, but by simply being one of them. By knowing what they feel. Because you feel it yourself. Our purpose was ever the same, your eminent. Yeah, it doesn't seem like he's an asshole. It just seems Only like he went about it the wrong way. At least from what he's saying here. Empire and glory. While our eyes beheld matters closer to home. You have the right of it again. As did you, Sabine. His radiance said it himself. Sandbreck is naught without her citizens. I forgot that, and I am sorry. I'm sorry too, Father. I should never have taken things so far. I only wanted you to understand how the people felt, how I felt. But my anger got the better of me. Do not blame yourself, my dear. This was my doing. I should have listened to you. To all of you. Your eminence, your ladyship. I do not doubt that you came here with the best of intentions. I do. But we all want safety, security, prosperity. Not just for Northreach, but for the entire realm. And we may yet achieve it. If only we work together. Will you join us in this? Yes. We shall. Thank you, Your Eminence. Now that that is settled, I must go and see to the wounded. The Vale's doors are always open to any soldier in need of relief. <laughs> oh, and today no. there are more than ever before. Oh no. Carla. Madam Isabel is a rare soul indeed. In these dark times, I see that it is not men like me who should lead the realm, but women like her. You're right. Only I'd listen to her when I had the chance. I actually kind of disagree. Not really like. But you still do. I just Dang like with her sir. intentions, because all Lady Isabel really cares about, like, yeah, she says like I, I want safety in all the realm or whatever, which is you know it's probably true. But like, really, if you think about it, all she's really cared about is her home and Northreach and Northreach itself. She hasn't really like, you know what I mean? Like she just wants to make sure like she's okay. It looks more selfish than it does selfless to me. But I guess maybe that's just the way I see turn it. Things around. But it is you the better way of doing it better than, you know, uh, you only too. serving the people or only now. serving the garrison, you know. One of you. It's hand in hand. Everyone's got to well work together said. for sure. Captain. But I don't know. Like, I'm not saying she's Let completely selfish and just wrong game. and all that. I'm just saying, like, to me right back. now, as, I, as it stands, it looks us. like she's kind of just serving the people she's around more uh, than everybody she can. Since there's nothing more to be done here, I should see if Isabel needs any help moving the wounded. All right. 
I don't know, that's just my opinion. Can we get you anything? I actually think they need like a strong hand, like a strong like I think a noble leader is actually like one of the best people, but he's gotta have the right mindset. Like that Duke of Warflam, as it's a good start. Like you have build around him, give a support system Just of like maybe like Lady that. Isabel and like one or two others, and then all of you guys decide what's best for like Sam Breck as a whole moving forward, you know, and you all make decisions together. How goes the treatment of the wounded? I'll be happy to man one end of a stretcher if it would help. <laughs> You've helped quite enough for one day, Clive. Thank you. Don't mention it. Oh, Good, because I what, did not look forward to a stretcher side quest. This town. It is the very least you deserve. Tell me. It's just because he gives off the one. nobility, like, authority. So, like, people would listen to that more than of your means just a random person or something, you know. But the dame has big clout, too. So there's that to keep in mind as well. It's a long story. I bet it is. I have all the time in the world. Oh no, is she fucking serious? Oh no, Clive, what have you done? Long ago, I had a life in the crystalline dominion. Oh no. I was Carla then, courtesan to the nobility. So ah. sought after was I that it was only they who could afford my time. Alas, those halcyon days were not to last. For naive as I was, I fell in love with a bearer. Oh! He was my master's guard. The gentlest man I have ever known. After they discovered us together, he was whipped bloody and forbidden from ever looking at me again. Damn. And so we fled. Not that we had anywhere to flee to. We wandered, aimless and starving. Half dreading, half praying that the next day would be our last. Until we found ourselves here. In Northreach. It was the veil that took us in. That fed us. Clothed us. And healed our hurts, those that could be healed at least. My love was already too far gone. Ah, oh, he was too, he was too he fucked over. Man. He did. Not long after we arrived. The starving and all the cuts and bruises and probably infections. We to share a few moments of peace before the end. It was the greatest gift I have ever received. But the generosity of this town and her people did not end there. The men and women of the Vale supported me through my grief. Shared in it, though I was still a stranger to them. They treated me like a sister. And so I swore that I would always do the same. That I would return the kindness that Northreach showed me. That I would repay my debt. To the veil. Thank you, Isabel, for sharing this with me. <laughs> You're a lot like him, you know. Oh, no. Perhaps that is why I have such a soft spot for you. Never stop fighting, Clive. And I shan't either. I know that it will not be easy to keep Northreach together. But our efforts will be rewarded. Just look at us now. The people, the soldiers, even the Duke of Oriflam and his daughter, all united in defense of this town that we have come to call our home. And what of you? Can we count on your support too? Always. Absolutely not. Then what are we going to get? Like the signboard for the veil, maybe? Under new management too. Bunch of fucking XP and some renown. Yep, veil signboard. Or Calcum. Didn't we need that for the sword? For the new the Jordan monger or whatever, the Vale signboard curiosity, the emblem of the Vale Northreach far famed house of ill repute. The town is the gateway to the imperial capital of Oriflam, where waves of old money and new lap against the opposing sides of the Great Wall. Displayed in class chambers. All right, and that seems to be it for Northreach. Let's see how much we have on our map here. It looks like there's just one more. Ooh. Hawk's Cry Cliff. Isn't that the just looking at your dad's memorial? Fuck it. We'll go look at our dad's memorial real quick. Just real, just real fast. Just real fast. It's really, really quick. We'll just go do that right now. I want to turn in all the quests and stuff, but I think we're going to leave that for next time, bro. I'm literally cooking, but... Fuck. I'm trying to get there as fast as humanly possible. strong enough to save the world? Of course. To overcome father's political enemies. Of that I'm less certain. 
Wow, we're Especially almost there. What we know now. Oh my god, we can't jump down. My mother was truly capable of. But perhaps these bands would have helped. Knowing he was with us would have made all the difference. It's just back there. Ah, I wonder if we could have visited this earlier in the game, huh? It's just we didn't find it until now. Or know about it even. And there's this helmet. Probably gonna be uh, another thing we get to keep. Father always fought for what he believed was right. It wasn't until that night at Phoenix Gate that I realized I had never fought for anything. I always had someone else to do the fighting for me. Mm. No matter how fate conspired against him, he never lost heart, never looked back, never stopped fighting. To me, he was the greatest of men. And My dad's better than your dad. To, live up to his ideals ever since. Oh, this looks like thumbnail for sure. We all have Clive. We all have, and we'll keep trying because that's what he would have wanted. What he would have done himself. Like the music playing. Even if it meant standing against the very gods in the heavens. I shall be borrowing this, Father, if I may. That you might watch over us as we follow in your footsteps. <laughs> Bro, I was just thinking, like, was he going to see his his ghost dad? And he was. And he was doing the Rosarian pose. That's wild. We won't lay you down. <laughs> it's a good thing they didn't show the head part. That would have been weird. It would have been weird either way. Either he would have been beheaded or it would have been, like, him with his head even though he doesn't have his head anymore. To the end and to a new beginning quest complete when there's a will there's a way rusted battle helm archduke elwin's helm worn during his victorious campaign to quell the northern uprising war is coming my boy we must make ready all right you know what i've decided i've been cooking here enough We'll go in and turn in everything we can at the hideaway. Oh shit, joining hands with Joshua. Joshua has joined Clive's party and will remain with him until departing for Origin. Oh shit. What the fuck? That's weird. Okay. Yeah, but we've cooked enough, so we'll go ahead and we will turn in everything we can here. Um, Tomorrow, when we come back, we'll do whatever we needed to wrap up here or can't do right now for whatever reason and we'll do all of the walud quests and then after that uh we'll probably like do if even if it's a short stream we'll just do a session for that time and the next session after that will be the ending hopefully um i'm thinking i'm hoping that like we don't go there and then they like let us do more side quests because that'll make me so upset but i feel like they're going to because that's what they've been doing up to now right Uncle, i bring good news the field marshal has agreed to your plan <laughs> of course he has i didn't doubt you for a moment dear boy rutherford is accompanying him back to your manor in porter's older as we speak they will await your return there as will one other one other who, exactly? Lord Havel was concerned that even if he could get the realm's armies to agree to an accord, he might not be as successful in convincing those with political power. He asked if mm. I might have a solution. 
and I suggested a certain Imperial Lord Magistrate turned Liberator. One of your co-conspirators? Yep. Master Quinton would probably call me one of his. But yes. Another outlaw, then. Just the thing we need to put these rotten politicos in their places. Good thinking, Clive. I'm glad you approve. <laughs> the more the merrier, eh? Uncle, assuming Havel and Quinton can solve our problem with the armies, you still haven't mentioned how we might manage the grain shortages. Oh, don't you worry, my boy. The oh. seven high houses will be seeing to that. They have all agreed to make the most generous of donations. Oh. Oh, of course, it did take a little persuasion, but luckily I had some unexpected help. From who? Why, you, my boy. Oh. Rumor has it that you rescued the Lady Ariane's head steward, Rockford, from a horde of bloodthirsty bandits. Yeah, that was Rutherford's was last quest. Handful. Well, the old battle axe was so pleased, she had a shipload of talents delivered to my private docks by the next new move. And when the other houses saw the parsimonious old crone's purse strings finally loosen... They as good as tripped over themselves in the rush to follow suit. Oh. I'm happy to hear it. Now, I must be getting back to the manor. Join us there at your earliest convenience, would you? Of course, Uncle. So this quest line's not done, it sounds like. It sounds like we still need to go to Port Isolde to go meet Uncle over there. Oh, okay, we're doing it right now. Rossfield Manor. And how, pray tell, will we get that grain to the capital if the roads are still overrun with a Akashic? You'll find another bloody road. I only have so many men, and I'm not <laughs> about to send them headlong into an ether flood. That is, unless you'd have them turn as well. Well, I'd certainly eat less. <laughs> Says the man with a belly bigger than a band of curls. God is ass. My soldiers actually need their rations. Without any food to keep them going, they'll be dead even before you've sent them on your fool's errand. <clears throat> if I may, gentlemen, perhaps I might suggest an alternative approach. Though supply routes are indeed disrupted, there is no shortage of ships. Indeed, they bob away in every bay from here to Randalar, awaiting a safe haven. Allow them to make port and fill their bellies full of grain. And once those who crowd the cities are fed, ferry the displaced back to the countryside to work the fallow fields. Ah, but I'm sure that you wish to continue your discussion. Forgive the interruption. So he's saying a lot of people want to escape on ships, give them a place that's secure to land at, feed everybody there, and then the ships will be vacant and they can use that to transport their garrisons around where they need to go. And then anyone who, like, is on the ships and doesn't have a home anymore... They can work the fields where they're growing more and more grain. Such firm friends as yourselves need no help from the likes of me. Rutherford spoke fondly of the great bond between you. Us? Friends? I can't stand the man! <laughs> I, I'm beginning to question the quality of the company you keep. And oh what no. What kind of company are you expecting him to keep? The man's a criminal! God is ass. How, how dare you! You are not <laughs> fit to breathe the same air as this fine! Upstanding young gentleman. Thanks, Aunt. Upstanding. Appreciate it. He calls himself Sid the Bloody Outlaw. Your point. Once more unto the breach. <laughs> Alright. Nice little joke scene there. <sighs> not so subtle, Carl. Shall we begin again? What we seek here is not to create a new nation. Nor to claim the thrones of those that already exist. We wish simply to bring stability to the realm that mankind might weather the current storm. And to do that, we must convince those in power, the generals, the statesmen, the nobles, that our cause is just. There will be disagreements, yes. And I imagine some resistance, much resistance. But we cannot let that deter us. If we show them the path, Show them that we walk it ourselves. Then I am confident they will follow. Ah. The fate of the world lies in my nephew's hands. But the well-being of her people lies in ours. And we must not squander the chance that Clive has given us. Good, Good speech so far. Now, with that settled, let's move on to the signing of the Accord. For what great moment in history hasn't been accompanied by a little ceremony? <clears throat> Citizens of Valisthea, I present to you the Triunity. Rutherford, Mike Will. <laughs>
Rutherford, fetch me my quill. All right. Well, my boy, the stage is set. That, that it is. Oh, we set at the same time. It's the role you were born for. Now I ask only that you trust in the talents of your supporting cast. We shall play our parts to the best of our abilities. That you might have the opportunity to shine. The realm needs its Sir Crandall. And there is no better Crandall than you, Clive. I uh, want you to keep this signed accord. Oh. As proof of our faith in you. Another well, missive. Thank you, Uncle. Quest complete. Nice. The Truinity Accord. Signed by representatives from Rosaria, Dalmachia, and Sam Breck, this mutual accord sets the stage for the new age in Storm, if not officially, then at least in spirit. For what great moment in history hasn't been accompanied by a little ceremony? Byron Rossfield. 